In today's video, we will be attempting the labs for chapter one of practical malware analysis. Number two says, when were these files compiled? So if we go into the labs, we can uh, view when they were compiled by using PE view. So the executable file was compiled December 19th of 2010. The DLL file was compiled roughly at the same time. Question number three says, are there any indications that either of these files is packed or obfuscated? If so, what are these indicators? Okay, so we're already in PE view, so we can uh, check the virtual size versus the size of raw data. They should be somewhat similar. So the virtual size, there might be di some differences due to uh, alignment, but hmm, these don't seem too bad. Again, pretty similar. And this is for the DLL, by the way. Hmm, that seems a little bit odd. It's n no obvious indicators. Let's use PEID to uh, investigate further. Not packed, not packed, and not packed. Let's check the executable. Again, the virtual size, similar. Read-only data, it's a bit of a difference there. Nothing alarming. Uh, this one's a bit sketchy, but we'll go ahead and run it in PEID. So again, it says it's not packed. And um, what we can do is we can uh, check for the strings, see if the strings are uh, obfuscated in any way. Could see some function calls here. So I'm going to go ahead and say that, um, the DLL is definitely not packed or obfuscated. Can clearly see uh, some C, um, C runtime stuff, function calls. There's a directory there warning this will destroy your machine. So not packed, not obfuscated. Number four, four says, do any imports hit on what this malware does? If so, which imports are they? So to view the imports, we can uh, use dependency walker. And we'll check out the executable first. So we only have uh, two imports, two DLL imports. So we see close handle, copy file, create file, find first file, find next file. Hmm, no exports. So I'm guessing it can navigate the directory and uh, copy files and create files. See runtime library. Let's check out the DLL. So we have uh, some network activity and uh, we can we can uh, see what it imports using the ordinal number. So number three, we can see it's a closed socket for connect 11, let's see what that is. INET address, close handle, create mutex, create process, open mutex. Let's see what, uh, has nothing exported here, which is odd. Let's see if we can see what the exports are. I don't believe it exports any functions. So number five, are there any other files or host-based indicators that you could look for on infected systems? So we're gonna open up uh, bin text again and actually analyze the strings for the executable we can see that it uses the DLL in some way, shape, or form. And I don't recall if it calls load library. Warning, this will destroy your machine. We'll open up in text again and analyze the DLL. Again, has some network connectivity there. We see an IP address, so that would be a network indicator. 
again another IP address that might be the same one as before so um, host based indicators would be this DLL here and um, network based would be that IP address seeing some traffic going to or from six oh we answered that what would you guess is the purpose of these files my guess is that uh, lab one is gonna import this DLL and it's gonna maybe uh, download some files from the internet because we saw some copy and create that's my guess lab 1-2 says analyze lab 01-02.exe so number two says what are there are there any indications that this file is packed or obfuscated if so what are these indicators if this file is packed unpack it if possible so straight away we'll use PEID Ooh, and we can see that it might be packed using UPX. Let's check out the sections. Section name are uh, further indicator that it's packed with UPX. It's packed, packed, not packed. We'll analyze it with PEView. So the virtual size, and it has a size of zero in on file or on disk. So that's that's a uh, Definitely an indicator there. 600, 1000, uh, nothing too, too serious. And uh, 200 and 1000. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is definitely packed. And we can go ahead and unpack it using UPX. successfully unpacked one file and now we can view the import which is good because number three says do any imports hint at this program's functionality if so which imports are they and what do they tell you so we'll go ahead and load up dependency walker we can see that uh, has some network activity um, using uh, like FTP maybe HTTP, I'm guessing it's going to be HTTP since it's connecting to a URL, internet open. Oh, it creates a service. Get system tell to file time. We'll set weightable timer, wait for single logic. So it's multi-threaded or, oh, there you go, create thread. But what does it tell me? It tells me it creates a service and it connects to a, uh, some URL. What are what host or network based indicators could be used to identify this malware on infected systems or machines? Um, so let's open up uh, Bintex. So um, we're gonna see a mal service running, something called mal service, which is a host based indicator there. Um, network activity, network traffic to uh, this website malwareanalysisbook.com and HGL345 don't know what that is might be garbage that uh, Bintex picked up assumed it was a string could be data executable code who knows pretty much sums up lab 1-2 moving on number two says are there any indications that this file is packed or obfuscated if so what are these indicators if the file is packed unpack it if possible load up PEID once again and it says that it's packed or it's uh, FSG is showing here. Check out the section names, they're all blank, which is um, warning sign there or indicator that it is packed. So um, PEID says that this is definitely packed. Um, we'll check out um, the sections to see if uh, there's major differences on disk versus in memory. Again, zero on disk and it takes up 3,000 uh, hex on in memory. So this is definitely uh, packed. Let 1-4 says, are there any indications that this file is packed or obfuscated? If so, what are these indicators? We'll go ahead and use PEID. We found the compiler. The section names seem to be intact. 
not packed, not packed, and not packed. So we're going to say it is not packed. When was this program compiled? August 30th, 2019. Obviously, that's been tampered with because at the time of this recording, it is um, October 16th, 2017. Um, number four, do any imports hit at this program's functionality? If so, which imports are they and what do they tell you? No exports. Kernel 32, create file, create remote thread, uh, find resource, get current process, get module handle, get proc address, temp path, get Windows directory, load library, load resource, size of resource. So at this point, we should probably open up a resource hacker and see if it has anything, any programs embedded in it. Bin. We can see the PE, well, the, the, M, the DOS header signature. We can see the dot text. Dot Read only data section. We have the PE header signature. This is definitely an embedded program. So we know it's probably going to try to run, execute that. Um, adjust token privileges. Probably messes with other running processes. Look up privilege value, open process token. Probably injecting some code somewhere. Um. move file manipulates the file system open process write file yeah so we can uh, assume that it's gonna inject some code into other processes it might be its own the one that's embedded who knows what are host or network based indicators um, that could be used to identify this malware on infected machines We'll open up our bin text. Win execute. Win log on at exe. That's a host based indicator there if you find this on um, your machine. SFCOS.tll is probably another one. WinUp.exe is probably another host-based indicator. We have URL download to file. So it's downloading something from the internet. It's gonna save it on the local file, on the local file system. And we see here practical malware analysis. So that's a network-based indicator there. It says updater.exe. So it's downloading some uh, other potentially malicious programs. But I don't believe that it had it called any um, network based DLLs. So we can assume that uh, the embedded file does the networking side of things. Let's go ahead and analyze the embedded file. We'll save it to the desktop. We'll name it embedded. And uh, we don't know if it's a executable so we'll go ahead and open up a PEID it says it was compiled using uh, Microsoft Visual C++ we got the section names it's not packed so we can see that this is definitely connecting to some some other system URL mon URL download to file Anyways, that does it for uh, chapter one. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.